Hi, this is Nino. This is a casual reading from my blog called Soft Her. If you'd like, you can check it out on Beloved Dust since 1989.wordpress.com. The link is in my bio and everything is written with all the love in my heart. Have you ever tried learning a new language? Most of us probably speak the language that was spoken in the house we grew up in. It makes sense to communicate with the language that is most familiar and that we are accustomed to because we've been exposed to it for the longest time. They say the best way to learn a new language is to be around people that speak it or watch movies where the language you are trying to learn is being spoken. So in essence we start mimicking what we're exposed to. Now, imagine your body is the home you've grown up in. It's learned a language as you've grown in it based on what language it heard or was surrounded with. It's also responded to the way it's been spoken to. Ask yourself these questions. What language has been spoken in and around my home? How would I describe the language of my inner monologue to a friend or even a stranger? At what points in my life has the language or tone of my inner monologue changed and why? How would the tone in which I speak to myself be affected if the people around me could hear my inner monologue? Would I ever speak to someone else this way? Have I ever been spoken to in this manner and by whom? Please remember the way you have been spoken to throughout your life by family, friends and acquaintances may have left small indentations on your self-worth but those dents can be banged out by changing the way you speak to yourself and making your inner voice a priority like the dust from whence we came the muddy essence of ourselves is malleable it can be changed and reshaped romans 12 verse 12 says don't copy the behavior and customs of this world but let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think Personally, I've had to drastically change my inner monologue and even now some days it is still difficult to not fall into the familiar habit of negative self-talk. The most important thing that I've learned is that it's easier to work with myself than work against myself and to make that work I had to literally change the way I spoke to myself and about myself. I had to redefine myself in terms of kind and even some terms needed to be redefined to not mean something necessarily bad but just something that is part of who i am for example being fat i have been overweight my entire life sometimes a little sometimes a lot and up until recently i was led to believe that that was one of the worst things i could be i was so defined by my weight and shape that it determined all of what I constituted as my self-value. I spoke a horribly toxic language to myself and I promise you it never helped me one bit. But I made a decision to change the way I speak to myself and adjust the conversations in my head in order to shed light on all the facets of who I really am intrinsically. In regards to the language we are surrounded with as we go through life, I believe that we are so beautifully vulnerable as children. The words that are used around us and to describe us emotionally and even physically shape us mentally as well as physically. As we get older, we run out of space to redesign our way of thinking. And we don't realize that quite often we need to just rip out the pages and start all over again. Believe me when I say you have every right to rip out those pages and start your story all over again. I began slowly but habitually apologizing to my body while standing in front of the mirror, ashamed at how I had punished her. I thanked her for the strength with which she carried me and for persevering through the destructive rock and roll roller coaster of my teens and tweens. I committed to honoring her with self-love, care and healthy choices. Even now I apologize to her when I look at her with any sort of judgment. I then started habitually looking for things in other people's appearances or actions to compliment. And in that way I learned to compliment myself until it came more naturally. My worldview changed completely and with this an everlasting flower bloomed. A 
flower of worth realizing how perfectly we as women are put together physically mentally and emotionally and how much we need each other to fight against the stigmas and constructs shackling our womanhood you are worth exquisite language and deep self-love on a journey of understanding and learning you are allowed to love yourself without loving everything about yourself that's called balance if you find it all too daunting try to speak to yourself as if you have just met a new person and you are getting to know them You would be polite, ask questions, give compliments, and the relationship would grow. The only thing you need to do is take the time to meet yourself. Take a few minutes a day, have a drink of whatever your new friend likes. Maybe take some notes and learn a new language. The language of self-love.